Early August is the time when Japanese remember the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki that ended World War II. But in Nagasaki this year, on the 69th anniversary, the solemn commemoration had a twist. Most of this year's ceremony followed a familiar script. Flowers placed at the Nagasaki Peace Park, a moment of silence at the exact time the bomb fell on August 9, 1945 a children's choir singing an anthem of peace. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe made a standard speech. We Japanese are history's sole victims of a nuclear attack during the war, and we have a certain responsibility to bring about a world without nuclear weapons. But the mayor of Nagasaki, like his counterpart in Hiroshima a few days earlier, brought up a current issue, Abe's efforts to revise Japan's pacifist constitution. Abe wants to allow Japan the right to so-called collective self-defense. It means greater leeway to militarily assist Japan's allies in the event of conflict. Nagasaki's mayor said Abe should slow down. Currently, there are arguments surrounding the issue of collective self-defense and the desirable shape of national security policy, and there are growing concerns and anxieties that the principle of peace is being shaken amid hasty discussions. I strongly urge the Japanese government to pay sincere attention to these concerns. And a survivor of the Nagasaki bombing was even more blunt. She challenged Abe's claims about seeking the abolition of nuclear weapons. I question whether our current Japanese government is making any efforts at all to make this happen. Do you think you can keep the peace by leading Japan with unnecessary military force? By creating more weapons, we are only getting closer to the days of war again. Don't erase the past by forgetting the pain all the victims of the atomic bomb have gone through. Miss Jodai was six years old when Nagasaki was bombed. She had refused an offer to speak last year, but she said she was alarmed at the Abe government's plans to reinterpret the constitution. Opinion polls show a majority of Japanese agree with her. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.